Something that I loved about the culture in New Jersey, I mentioned before that they were a lot of people that are really busy, they're working a lot of jobs, but it seemed like they would always let us in, even if they were like running around their house, finishing cooking dinner, or helping their kids with something, they would always let us in. And just very loving, would take time for, for us to come in, and I love that about it. The biggest thing that I noticed about the culture in New Jersey was how busy everyone was and kind of the fast paced um, lifestyle there. So a lot of people that live in New Jersey will commute over into New York City, at least the areas that I was that I served in. And so they they have jobs that they have to leave really early in the morning, they get home late at night, and then they're taking care of their family. And they just have all these responsibilities that they have. And so teaching them the gospel, it seemed like having the time to read the scriptures and to pray was the hardest thing um, for them to overcome just because of the lifestyle there. I remember one um, person that we were able to teach that was working two jobs and just had like all these things that he was involved in that he was doing and it was hard asking them to do things when you knew that they were so busy but since we knew that asking them to read the scriptures and to pray and to come to church would help them and we knew that these things were true it was worth it teaching them and those that were able to exercise their faith to, to do those things ended up being very blessed from it. Something that I loved about the culture in New Jersey, I mentioned before that they were a lot of people that are really busy, they're working a lot of jobs, but it seemed like they would always let us in, even if they were like running around their house, finishing cooking dinner or helping their kids with something, they would always let us in and just very loving would take time for for us to come in and I love that about it. In my second area especially I was fed a lot. They had a meal calendar and when we would get it back we'd have people sign up for we'd at least have a dinner appointment every day and usually we'd have a lunch and dinner appointment and then the members would bring over groceries and breakfast sometimes they loved to feed us so we always had plenty of food in the apartment plus meal appointments um, and because of the wide variety of cultures there it was always different kinds of food so we have Dominican food Brazilian food Mexican food is all these different kinds, so that was really cool to experience those. I guess funny meal experiences is I just I'm not used to a lot of different culture foods, and so a lot of times I'd be eating things that I really wasn't sure what I was eating. Um, I remember one time we were eating these like pink, um, they kind of looked like rubber little ovals and I wasn't really sure what they were and I was watching the other people in the home eat them and they were kind of like biting through it. I tried to bite through it and I, I couldn't and I wasn't sure what it was. Later found out it was salmon fat so you just get all sorts of different things. Some were really good, some were uh, good learning experiences. Um, <laughs> so just you'll just get a lot of different, a lot of different foods. So it's cool.